Hi, I'm Susan Castriota. I'm the inventor of the Kachina Safe All Glass Vented Cooking Lids. I'm all about using less plastics in the kitchen. So today, I'm going to share some of my helpful hints on how to use less plastics in the kitchen. Storage containers. Get rid of the plastic containers when you can. Instead, I like to use a mason jar. Take my olives out of the bag when I bring them home, put them in a mason jar, or I save these nice recycled jars for everything. And I like to use these glass containers, put the lid on it, and the really nice thing is if you get a bag of lettuce or spinach, I bring it home and I put it in a vintage Pyrex container. The microwave. Get rid of these plastic covers in the microwave. Go to all glass or ceramic. I use my cover and cook on a ceramic plate. Or if you're doing steaming, reheating, cooking, I always use a glass container with the Kachina Safe Lid on the top. Now I'm going to talk about containers for liquids and drinks. My favorite one is milk in a glass bottle. I'm so happy to see this coming back. The nice thing about the milk in a glass bottle is that you can reuse these. You clean out the bottle, you take it back to the store and you get a fresh container of milk or now they're doing milk delivery, which is also great. So get rid of the plastics if you can and go to the glass bottle. And milk also tastes so much better in the glass bottle. Now for the dreaded plastic water bottle, we have to get rid of these. Yuck and also the single use cups. Let's get rid of those too. So what I've been doing is I go to the store and I look for beverages that are already in the glass containers. So I buy them, I drink them, then I clean them and I take some of my filtered water, fill that up there, and I put these into my refrigerator so when I want some bottled water I've got cold water filtered water in glass container now if you're going to go to a coffee a little coffee shop let's try to get rid of these this is probably the worst thing that you could put a hot liquid in is the styrofoam container or cup so let's get rid of that and what you can do, you can take your favorite mug with you, or you can do stainless steel. These are both stainless steel. Keeps the beverage nice and hot. Single use plastics. We all know what those are. You use them one time, and sometimes it's not even for that long of a time. So we've got the straws, the plastic straws. A lot of restaurants are already starting to do away with the plastic straws. But what you can do is either ask if they have the paper or don't use a straw at all. Get rid of those. Instead, you can buy the paper straws or my favorite is the stainless steel reusable straw. This is great because you reuse it over and over again and you just wash it in between uses and you can take it to a restaurant. Next would be the zipper type bags. The problem with these is there's two different types of plastic so you can't really recycle these so most of them end up in landfills. So what you could do instead of using these type of bags if you're going to do sandwiches or lunches for the kids, you can use these nice paper bags they have now. Just put the sandwich in there, put the fruit, wrap it up. This keeps your food fresh for hours. Or you can always use Reynolds Wrap to wrap your food. Now, the other one is takeout containers. 
We've all been to a restaurant where you get this much of a leftover and they put it in a large styrofoam takeout container, which are just awful. So let's say no to those. The nice thing is restaurants are now offering takeouts in these nice cardboard containers, they're paper, or you can ask the restaurant if they can wrap your leftover in foil, or you can bring your own foil, or back to the mason jar, bring your mason jar with you, put your little leftover in there, wrap it up, and you're good to go.